Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. So this is the concluding video for the CCS Park and Hadoop Developer Certification. Um, as per as part of this playlist, I I started with uh, the curriculum, and uh, then I I have covered how to set up environment on your PC, and uh, then uh, I have uh, uploaded videos for all the learning objectives um, by leveraging uh, the Cloud Era Quick Start VM. We started with Scoop. Uh, we understand how to import and export the data from uh, between MySQL and HDFS. And then we have seen how we can actually integrate uh, real-time uh, real streaming data into HDFS using Flume. And then uh, we have seen several HDFS commands, after which we went into Spark. Uh, and we have covered uh, all these five learning objectives in Spark using both Scala and Python. Uh, you can go to the playlist and you can see videos. So first, uh, uh, we started with the introduction and then uh, 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 the resources to practice and then videos about Scoop, Flume and then uh, in Spark, uh, I started with PySpark first. After PySpark is done, uh, there are several videos for Scala and you need to know both Python as well as Scala. Uh, uh, what I have understand after talking to few people is um, they will give code snippets and they will ask you to uh, complete uh, the blanks in those code snippets. So you need to understand the syntax and semantics of both Spark, uh, you, uh, sorry, uh, of both PySpark which is nothing but Python on Spark as well as uh, Spark Shell which is nothing but Scala. And also I have covered uh, running Spark, uh, 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 doing data processing in Spark uh, in Hive context as well, wherein if you can uh, write a simple query uh, to process the data, you can write a Hive query uh, embedded in either Python uh, using PySpark or Scala using Spark shell and you can process the data. Uh, like joins, uh, it, will, uh, you, it will be very handy for you and also in case of aggregations it can be very handy for you as well as sorting etc and then uh, uh, we have seen how we can use hive and impala to actually create the tables on uh, on the data on hdfs uh, you don't use hive and impala to process the data as part of the ccs park and hadoop developer it's primarily about using the DDL to create the tables in Hive as well as Impala using Hive Metastore. And also it covers the Avro schema in detail. Uh, so I have videos on that as well. So this is the uh, overall view, uh, overview of uh, what has been covered as part of this playlist. I created the videos based upon the published syllabus. If they go out of this, then uh, I can't uh, help it, means uh, there are no videos uh, on that. I think they will not go beyond uh, this content or um, beyond the scope what they have defined as part of the certification. And it's a remote proctored exam available, so you can log in and uh, the way the exam works is uh, uh, once you launch the exam, it will freeze your screen. It will only uh, let you to uh, to access uh, to, to access the exam uh, portal, and uh, you can also uh, access the internet. But you will be only able to access these things, whatever they have mentioned here, documentation that will be available online during the exam. So, uh, and also you, you, you need to have a webcam, I think, uh, so they will actually monitor uh, whether there is anyone around you who is helping uh, for the exam. Uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, that will be recorded as well. And also, um, uh, when if you go through any other website than this, then... Um, they can terminate uh, the exam and uh, you will be failed. On top of that, you will get all these resources while running the exam. Uh, 
you, you, you will get a CDH5 cluster preloaded with Spark, Impala, Crunch, Hive, Pig, Scoop, Kafka, Flume, Kite, Hue, Woody, Datafew and many others. You can click on this CF full list and you will get the entire list. On top of that you will get Python uh, because Py if you have to write programs on PySpark you have to use Python and you will get Perl, you will get Elephant Bird. Um, I'm not sure you need to use uh, any of these things. Probably they might be providing this. They need for uh, their cluster to be up and running with uh, all the packages. And then uh, they will give IDEs as well. IDEA is a, uh, a Java IDE and you can have, it will have, I think, Scala and uh, plugin as well. So you can develop your Scala programs using this uh, IDE. Sublime is another IDE, Eclipse is uh, another one and NetBeans. So uh, all these four IDEs you will get it. So here is the documentation for all the topics that will be part of the certification. Uh, so that being said, that's it from my side, uh, from the certification CCA, Spark and Hadoop developer. And if you are giving the exam, uh, I wish you best of luck. And please do share your experience um, after the certification. Uh, if you, uh, if um, uh, my content helped you in cracking the exam, please uh, uh, leave a comment uh, on on the videos. Uh, and if you think I need to add more after the exam, please let me know. I will make sure that all those necessary topics will be covered as part of the exam. So make sure uh, it is interactive so that it can help uh, peop other people in future. And also in the same lines I will be uploading uh, uh, playlists for all the certifications in Hadoop world over time. I started with CCA Spark and Hadoop developer certification and also I have uh, started, uh, I have completed CCA Spark and Hadoop developer certification. Uh, I have started HDP certified developer Java. Once this is done, I will get into the administration aspects of it. I will upload one for uh, CCA, uh, sorry, Cloudera and the other for Hortonworks. Once that is done, I will get into the other certifications also. I will cover CCP, which is much more advanced than CCA. And also Hortonworks have another certification which covers Scoop, Pig, Flume, Hive. Um, and I, I will create a playlist for that as well. So over time, you will have um, uh, playlists for almost all the leading uh, Hadoop certification exams so that people can actually practice, uh, 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 prepare, practice and also uh, clear the certification exam which will help you to conquer uh, all the Hadoop ecosystem tools and give you the confidence to face the interviews and also to uh, to work uh, uh, as part of your job uh, that being said uh, if you like the content please click on this video if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video at any time if you have any questions please go to stack overflow and raise your questions uh, by using appropriate tags and uh, finally if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Also, I have LinkedIn group, ITVersity, Hadoop certifications. This will be uh, only related to Hadoop certifications. Um, so please send a request to join. Uh, we can discuss further on the certifications in future. That being said, Thank you. Bye.